Some people are fascinated by magic, magic tricks, sorcery, deception. Today, I wanna to talk to all of the young men about one of the most deadliest magic tricks out there. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, people have been fascinated with magic, deception, sorcery, trickery for years. Being in these last days, this stuff is at an all-time high. You have people that are more prideful than they ever been and prideful in the things that the Most High Yah hates. Man, before I go any further and tell you what the most deadliest magic trick is, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, click that red button, don't cost you anything. Turn your notifications on. Check out my exclusive affiliate links in the description box below for opticsplanet.com, bodybuilding.com, bulksupplements.com, save yourself up to 10 to 15 percent all year around man you don't hear too many women have stories about a woman trying to impersonate a man and then tricking them you don't hear too many too many hate crime narratives regarding that because women are a little bit or a lot more, women are a lot more detectable due to the features. So you can look at a woman that is what you call a stud and see, oh yeah, she's a woman. We can, we can tell this. We can tell she's a woman. You don't see a lot of women that are trying to impersonate men lose their lives. But what you do see is a fair amount of men that are caught up in violent acts behind men trying to impersonate a woman. When I say we are in the last days, let me give young men, let me give men some advice because we're seeing celebrities get caught up with these jokers. These jokers that wanna transform. We're seeing people get caught up. We're seeing pastors get caught up with them and exposed and exposed man i'm here today to tell you that even if no sexual relations happen these jokers find it funny to expose men when that camera footage gets to rolling and they got you running out Bro, that, that's gonna go to the masses. And nobody, let me tell you something, Ben, nobody's gonna believe your story. Especially if it makes it and it goes viral and it turns into a hate crime. You have a lot of these men that choose to live this lifestyle and try to deceive other men that lose their lives and you have a lot of men that are straight and in an act of violence and rage, kill these men. You got cities like Atlanta, known for it. Man, as a man, you don't need to be trying to, trying to see what cities that host these pride festivals, what their dating culture is about because they got some tricks up they pants legs. And I'm for real, they got some tricks up they pants legs. Man, I've never been stationed in Korea, but I've been in long enough to know people that have spent time over there. And the men will tell you that there's a lady boy culture over there. The lady boy culture is, if you ask these Korean men that 
dress up as women, if they are a man, if they're a woman, they're gonna tell you, I'm a lady boy. That, that lets you know off the rip. But here in the West, oh man, we got a, we got a different culture. It's dangerous. You have a, a man that says, I'm gonna dress up and I'm gonna try to pass myself off as a woman. Let alone, I'm gonna try to date straight men. Let straight men shoot, lustful straight men, let them shoot they shot at me, I'm gonna shoot my shot at them, and I'm not gonna tell them throughout none of this conversation. See, you have women that do this stuff, but they get caught up and exposed on shows like Catfish. They hide their face. But Hasatan uses these confused men, says, hey, we're gonna dress you up and we wanna pass you off as a woman and let you go amongst women and let you trap men. That's a snare. Whole time, these jokers got what they call a tuck back. They tucking it back. That's why I said they got something up their pants leg. You have society, Western society. A man get caught up in anything like that. Society is leaning towards the side of the person that's deceptive. Oh, it was a hate crime. That community is coming for you. Oh, this was an act we need to, we need to stand. We can't, this is heinous. Ain't nobody talking about the deception, the trickery. Men out here. Man, 17, 18 years ago, this stuff wasn't as prevalent. All these parades and all, it wasn't as prevalent. There was no community that was, that had their own headquarters that could cancel culture. No, it wasn't as prevalent. Nowadays, men, when you are entertaining, uh, you know, a young lady, I'm not supporting anything that y'all says is an abomination. I'm supporting righteousness. But I'm also going to tell you how not to catch a case. You need to be asking these young women, in this generation of masculine women, and then men that want to play the feminine role of a woman and trick you, you need to be asking. Even if you don't suspect anything because your ignorance is going to lead to a lot of foolishness. You need to be asking, hey, I don't mean no disrespect. Were you born a man? Are you a man? You gotta ask, were you born a man with male anatomy? You have to ask this because that confused mind, if you say, are you a man? They're gonna say, no, I'm not no man. Why? We live in this culture that says you can identify as whatever you want. You can identify as Kermit the Frog, long as you got an audience that will support that. So you need to ask, were you born with male anatomy? Were you born with a penis? Because I'm telling you, man, after you have spent your money courting, what you thought was a woman and she and, and and that man going along for the ride just acting and then if you lawlessly choose to lay down with them and then find out that they got a kickstand brother that's a dangerous situation not not too many men have the discipline to walk away from that situation and say you know what hey this 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 ain't what I thought it was. That ain't funny. I'm up out of here. I'm gonna tell, tell you something. This is the reason why you need to ask these questions because this stuff is being normalized. People will think I'm wrong for telling men how to protect themselves, but you're, you're making yourself an easy target. Especially in a daytime and hour where we got a lot of, where, where this generation of women are promoting masculine women and these jokers is flying under the radar, masquerading around as women, got a kickstand the whole time. And here's what's satanic about it. 
they're not gonna be up forth and telling you, hey, before before I actually tell you my name is Cheryl or Shanice, I was born as Charles. They ain't coming out forth telling you that. That's why it's some dead, it's the most deadliest trickery out there. You got men that have been caught in these situations that thought that they was about to lay down with a one athlete, celebrities, random jokers. Thought they was about to lay down. And here's if you are a lustful man, man, you're 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 more prone to fall into this. To fall into this snare set by Hasatan. And you have men that when that happens, oh, they black out. You in this thing and you didn't spend your money, you've been courting what you thought was a woman. And then this joker pull out a kickstand on you. The narrative in the news, in the media is gonna be it's a hate crime. The community is gonna come for you. I'm telling you right now, your mama, your family, everybody, they all gonna be in the back of their mind. Hey, was he down low? We didn't know he was down low. We didn't know he was into that. Nobody is gonna take the side of this person set out to deceive you. But they're telling you in their community, they got surgeries to take away stuff that you, to, make, to take away the masculine features. So they can go out and do this in front of straight men. Tell me that ain't deceptive. Man, you get up in one of these rooms, thinking you, you you being a lustful man, you about to get some booty, and you got a joker from the minute they met you. From the minute they met you, it was never on their mind to be truthful. And they're gonna doggone play their role the whole time. It's a fictitious role. And when the opportunity presents itself, when the lights is off because you lustful, Joker's gonna pull that kickstand, and in his mind, not only do they want to turn you out for their community, have you walking around like a sissy, but they want to put that spirit on you. So you got a little twitch in your step. Put a little twitch in your step. That's I'm telling you, man, that's a deadly magic trick. Men out here, if you're foolish enough to be out moving in some of these things where you can't see people, man, you need to see people in the daylight. You need to see somebody in gym clothes. Hey, come on to the gym with me. See, see what they work. You need to see, because this stuff is out here. I'm talking about it because it's out here. It's happening. Man, I saw a video, and I think this joker was actually living this life because the individual got this black pastor and he didn't want to pay. He didn't want to pay. Got exposed. If you living that life, oh, oh, you're gonna get exposed. Passing it off as if you straight, got a family home, you're gonna get exposed. But for the men that don't live that life and fall into the trap, I'm telling you how to avoid it. And if you if you ask, you know, if you out, you meet somebody, if you got friends around, you, your friends need to hear you ask, are you a man? Were you born with a penis? Hey, I need to ask you something before this thing go any further. Are you a man? And if they are a woman, but that's gonna be offensive. That's gonna be offensive, but you have to be like, hey, no, nah, I'm just, look at the times we in, look at the times we in. Jokers is out here uh, professionally tricking. In this culture talk about women tricking off, you got men tricking. That's real tricky. And when they when the when this stuff come up in the news, man, it be a bloodbath. And I'm telling you, right, ain't nobody gonna believe the story. People you went to school with, your peers, your co-workers, your family, all in the back of their mind, the joker been down low. The joker been down low. And they, and here's the thing, there's gonna be a narrative that you've been living this life the whole time. I'm telling you how to steer clear of it. Steer clear of it. Following the word of Yah. This world cooking up some stuff that telling you, you do not want. Once that video footage of you running out the hotel lot, all that stuff get caught up because you didn't find out Joe got a kickstand, oh, they can twist the narrative because you was running. Because you was running. Think about what I'm saying in the folks, the footage that came out 
of these folks trying to tell their story. Ain't nobody trying to hear that because they already got the narrative in their head. These men that do this are out to trick you. They want to turn you out and put a spirit on you. That's why the word of the Most High Yah says, test the spirit. Test the spirit. Beauty is vain. These jokers got on as much makeup as the women that's born of women. That's why they say this stuff is deceptive. This day, time and hour, women, women have a masculine spirit, put on all this makeup, wonder why they struggling getting a man, and these men that's playing feminine, putting on all the makeup, they don't have no problem tricking a man. That's ass backwards. Ass backwards. And if you are ignorant, if you are a fool, if you reject wisdom, they gonna get your ass. They gonna, they, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna get you. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.